How to make an accounting system in Excel? To make the financial statements, we will make some changes. Insert a column, we adjust the width of the column. Then, below, we will insert a new table. In this, we will place the general accounts, which will group the specific accounts, or also named sub accounts. We select a cell, go to the data tab. Data Validation, select List. Choose the source, and press OK. Then, we start to classify each sub-account within the corresponding account. Go to Data and click on group so if we want we can hide the column where the general accounts are visible and only the sub accounts or specific accounts are visible now we group the columns of debits and credits where all the credits and all the debits of an account were seen. From now, only the final balances of each account are visible, as in the trail balance. Now we go to the financial statements. We will insert a drop down list, but now with the general accounts. To make our financial statements, we will use the final balances of each general account. Then, insert the formula concatenate. This formula is used to join in a specific cell a word and the result of another cell. Insert the SUMIF function to obtain the total value of a account. And Repeat the process, copying and pasting the formulas. Now, click on the Auto Sum button to get the total assets. To obtain the total of the liabilities, we will change the range of cells from column L to column M.
Ben. Repeat the procedure, with the capital issued account. Copy and paste. As. You can notice, the account, current year's retained profit loss, has no amount. Without this amount, there is no equality, in the accounting equation. To obtain. The total value, of the account, current year's retained profit loss, we must prepare, the income statement. Now, after taking the sales, and, subtracting the cost of sales, and, all the expenses, incurred by the company. We, obtain the net income. Now, we take, this amount and place it in the statement of financial position, and, we will see, how the total amount of assets, equals the total amount of liabilities. Plus owners, or stockholders, equity. To change the format of the negative numbers, go to Cells Format. Click on More Number Format, then Custom. Choose from the list a format that contains the minus sign. Delete the sign, and instead, put parenthesis. To finish, now, we are going to register a sale of merchandise for $10,000 in cash. And now, as we can see, in the financial statements, of our company, a net income for $2,400 is shown. Thank you for watching this video, leave us your comments, visit us on Facebook, and give us a like.